Before we jump into today's math problem, let's take a brief moment to relax and focus on our breathing and gently close your eyes. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Feel your chest and sternum rising as your lungs fill with air. And slowly exhale through your nose, keeping that length in the spine. Inhale deeply and slowly through the nose, noticing the temperature of the air as you breathe it in. Does it feel a little cool? And as you exhale through your nose slowly, observe the temperature of the air that you're exhaling. Does it seem a little warmer? On the next deep inhale through your nose, send the breath to any parts of your body that may be feeling some tension. And as you slowly exhale through your nose, feel that tension release. Let's take one last deep inhale through the nose and think about something you're grateful for today. And at the top, hold your breath for a few seconds. And then exhale through your nose as slowly as you can, savoring that breath and feeling a greater sense of calm and relaxation and peace. And when you're ready, gently open your eyes. This multiple choice problem comes from the College Board. It's from Section 3 of the SAT test, which does not allow calculators. And the problem says, a company that makes wildlife videos purchases camera equipment for $32,400. The equipment depreciates in value at a constant rate for 12 years after which it is considered to have no monetary value. How much is the camera equipment worth four years after it is purchased? Give this problem a try. See what you can do. It's all right if you're not sure how to approach it. You can even just take a guess. And in about a minute, we'll have a look at it together. problem is talking about depreciation, which just means the value of an item becoming less and less valuable over time. So I'm going to actually draw a picture so that you can visualize what's going on. And this is a good example of a problem where we don't have to do a lot of intricate computations, we can actually use estimation to quickly get to the answer. So we're going to look at the value of the equipment over time. And the time is going to be from the time we bought the equipment 
to 12 years because we know that after 12 years the equipment will have no monetary value. So we're going to go up to 12 years. And we start at zero years. That's the date that we bought the equipment. All right. And we know that the equipment will start out at a value of $32,400. So at time zero, which is the day the equipment was bought, it has its full value. It's worth $32,400. And in time, we know that that equipment is going to go from $32,400 down to having no value or being worth $0 in 12 years. So that's this point here. It's worth $0. And they tell us that that decline is happening at a constant rate. So that means we're talking about a line. So this line represents how much the equipment is worth over time. It's going down, down, down. And after 12 years, it'll be worth zero dollars. All right. So let's now look at the question. It's asking how much is it worth? four years after it's purchased. Okay, so let's just look at the rough graph. Let's say that four years is there, eight years is there, and 12 years is there. So we're talking about a point that's about over here. Okay, so if you look at the graph, and again, this is not done to scale, but look at what's happening. We're talking about four years, and that's one third of the whole time. And the value, it'll go down one third of its whole value, because it's declining in value constantly. So in one third of the time, it's going to lose one third of its value. So the question now is, if this is the value right here of the equipment after four years, what would two thirds of $32,400 be? Okay, well, let's just totally roughly estimate this. One third is going to be about $11,000, right? Because if I say the equipment's worth about $33,000, then one third is about $11,000. So two thirds is going to be about $22,000. Does that make sense? Which answer choice is about $22,000? Well, we see that that's answer choice C. And in fact, answer choice C, $21,600, is the correct answer. So I hope you enjoyed seeing this strategy that you don't have to find the precise answer computationally. You can use your estimation skills and you can determine which of the answer choices seems like the one that's closest to what the answer is likely to be. And then that allows you to quickly see the answer. If you have any questions or if you have any suggestions or requests, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. I always love hearing your guys' thoughts. If you subscribe to this channel, you'll be notified of new videos as they become available. And I enjoyed working together. I look forward to seeing you next time.